lesson uh, 2.8 understand the y-intercept of a line so now what's a y-intercept what's what what's make that number a y-intercept so now look at this line here for example you know you can see that it ends here so since we need to find out what's a y-intercept we need to extend the line a little bit so you could see where does it cross and we could do it in two different ways either algebraically or by graphing now this point here exactly is the y-intercept so the the point that hits the the y-axis it has an x value of a zero and a y value all right so a y-intercept always always you have an x to be equal to zero and a y has a value all right it could be zero it could be one it could be negative it could be positive it doesn't make a difference but it has a value now you can see that this is your, your y-intercept you can see always that your x is going to be zero and that's what makes it actually is a y-intercept okay now uh, you can see it relating I, I could do an actual problem here for example there's a robotic assembly of you know of a line of manufacturing also we could use it uh, in real life by the way it's not like it's not just a math thing we, we always think it's only math no no math is involved in real life so physics and engineering and all that they all use mathematics so we're going to need it we're going to need this so uh, this idea the linear equations you're going to see that you're going to be using it a lot so now here's an example of a y-intercept you can see that this is where the y-intercept is crossing the, this line crossing the y-axis that means this is the y-intercept same thing here the lines crossing the y axis which is this is that y intercept all right so this is the, what we're going to be doing for this section definitely we're going to be doing all, all those examples as always now let's go ahead and and move to the next section the next section is going to be about analyzing linear equations now this is the linear equation by the way this is the it, the m is the slope b is y the y intercept this is what we just learned okay and that's the equation for the line so if i ask you to find the an equation of a line by using a, a slope and a y-intercept that's that's how you do it now how does it work like i said we're going to do it on you know here imagine here see this is a y x and a number but you could relate it to actual things in life which is total cost hourly rate initial fees all those things are we do we use them in life so you could con connect math with actual real life problems Okay, so you could see that that this is an actual. So I, in class, I'm going to give you even more examples about real life. Okay, so don't worry about it. I, I have plenty of examples about real life. So we'll do that in class, definitely. Don't worry. Okay, now we can see here. Now let's go back to math, only math. This is a slope. It's a negative 4. And that's a y-intercept. So that's what we learned in the sections before. And that's what the one we learned just, just now in the section before that. Okay, so my slope is negative 4 and my y-intercept is a, a 3. So, like I said, this is, will be the last section in this chapter. And uh, we're going to be doing all those exercises at the end before we move to chapter 5 after that. Because the next uh, chapter that we're going to be doing is chapter 5, actually. Because it's part of unit 2. Okay, guys? So, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.